On this episode, we'll talk about low carb diet versus a keto diet. We'll also talk about depression after surgery, and we'll talk about what is the best way to get your protein intake. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 163 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks so much for sending the questions. We need your questions, all right? If there's something along your weight loss journey, before, during, after, doesn't matter, you're not my patient, we're here for you. If you can get me those questions, those questions will be able to help out more patients, which is our goal. This is our goal, to be able to transmit more knowledge to patients out there around the globe, and um, that way they will be getting more benefit and better results. That's our goal. Send me your questions two ways, using the hashtag AskDrA throughout uh, social media or through my personal Instagram account that, uh, by the way, we're gonna place the Instagram username here on the screen. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out. You're missing out on all the fun and all the behind the scenes stuff that we do. So uh, let's go into this, this week's uh, questions. Can you please discuss keto diets versus low carb? Yeah, all right, so uh, yeah, let's talk about the difference between uh, a ketogenic diet and a low carb diet. So uh, they're, they're similar but different, all right? So let me, let me see if I can get the message across. When you use uh, uh, a keto diet and you lower your carb intake, in other words, a keto diet is a low carb diet, when you lower your carb intake enough and you go into a state uh, in a state called ketosis when you are in ketosis your body is becoming a fat burning machine and the way it does that is because you're not getting enough carbs your body goes into burning fatty acids as energy and you are in ketosis all right so that is a keto diet. The uh, objective is to get you into this keto stage for you to be a fat burning machine. Now let's talk about, remember, a keto diet is a low carb diet. Now let's talk about a simple low carb diet. All right. When you lower your carb intake, it's a low carb diet. But if you go down with the carbs it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you are in in a ketosis state that you are going into keto no so you need to lower the carb intake to a point that will get you in ketosis and that will get you more results because if you lower your carb intake let's say from 600 uh, grams a day and you come down to 150 grams a day or maybe 200 grams a day maybe those 200 uh, grams a day even though it's a low carb diet won't get you into a fat burning stage i hope this makes sense so uh, a low carb diet not necessarily is a keto diet but a keto diet is always a low carb diet how can I deal with depression after surgery? Very good question. Although, although depression after surgery is not common at all, there are some cases. That is why you need to have a team and you have to pick a team, a weight loss surgery team that has everything under one roof, that you have a nutritionist, help you with that area you have your weight loss surgeon as support but you also as part of the multidisciplinary team you also have a psychologist on board and that professional that health professional will help you on specific those patients specifically those patients that may have a uh, slight depression after surgery i'm telling you again and it is not common at all 
but if needed, how to deal with it, you need to seek professional help. And first up to contact maybe is your bariatric surgeon or his team to get you uh, uh, this professional and help you on that situation. What is the best way to get my protein? By eating it or drinking it? Perfect question, very good question because one of my favorites because we've talked about the protein uh, supplements, we've talked about protein shakes, we've talked about protein bars, we talked about protein cookies, we talked about protein chips. Now there's protein in everything. But the best way to get your protein intake is by eating real food. All right, so that's the best advice I can give you. Forget about the protein bars, forget about the protein shakes. They are supplements and you need to look at them as supplements. I prefer you eat some tuna, you eat some salmon, maybe some chicken, maybe some uh, real food that will get you enough protein versus those supplements. So to answer your question, real food. All right, so that is it for episode 163 of the Ask Dr. Ray Show. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.